the Department of Children's Services has a tough job to safeguard kids suffering from neglect and abuse. But tonight, DCS admits they've been breaking the law for years and not reporting all the children who have died under their watch. Channel 4's Adrian Flores is live outside their Nashville headquarters with the story. Adrian. Yeah, Tom, you know, as a result of that, a Tennessee lawmaker is actually calling for a full investigation into DCS and possibly even a complete overhaul of the agency. This after they released a report showing that 31 children died within the first six months of this year. Many of those children already in state care, and in some cases, DCS didn't follow the law. And we're talking about children's lives with no oversight. Representative Sherry Jones has been demanding answers for months. How many children have died as a result of neglect or abuse in Tennessee this year? Children known to the Department of Children's Services like Savannah and Daniel Maurice. They died last month after police say their mother left them in a hot car outside their Smyrna home. This week, the department finally responded. More than one child every month dies that's involved with DCS, and that is astounding. 31 to be exact within the first six months of this year, 10 the focus of an ongoing investigation, 17 whose cases were investigated and closed, four in state custody, many of whose deaths were never reported to legislators as required by law. They did break state law. The fact that we allow people to manage these cases that have English degrees or have art degrees is another problem. These cases take training. These are people's lives and they take experience. You can't draw any conclusions just from this number. DCS spokesperson Brandon Gee warns you must consider the circumstances surrounding each case. Some of those kids would have come to our attention because they had a serious injury at the hands of their parents. So again, it's not fair to just look at the number and say every single one of those deaths could have or should have been prevented by us. But Gay admits even one child dying is unacceptable, so the department is adopting new procedures. So we are looking at implementing processes that have been used in high-risk in, uh, industries that manage not to have very many accidents. And uh, Jones went on to say that that is too little, too late for those 31 children. And so, again, she is calling for a complete investigation. She says at the very least, but she said she might even go as far as firing the current commissioner and hiring a new one. In Nashville, Adrian Flores, Channel 4 News. Certainly more to come on this one, Adrian. Thanks. A 2005 law requires DCS to inform lawmakers of each child death or near death in their district within 45 days. DCS acknowledges they have not been doing that, but they plan to start now.